talk. We need to talk about this book that I am obsessed with to the point where like I can stop thinking about it. It is really impacted my life for the better. If you guys saw my last video, you'll know that I take out a lot of books from the library, but this book has been so valuable to me and I'm so obsessed with it that I actually placed an order on Amazon to actually have a physical copy. So the book that I'm talking about is called Attached and it's a book on adult attachment styles. So I believe this book is amazing for anybody who is interested in bettering themselves and learning about themselves and being a better partner in their relationships. This book is not only for people who are already in relationships, but it's also good for people who are dating, people who have new partners, people who have been in marriages for a really long time. So this book breaks down the three fundamental attachment styles, which is anxious, avoidant, and secure. Anxious people are people who crave intimacy, but they're always afraid that their partner doesn't love them or is going to leave them. Avoidance, basically avoid intimacy at all costs because they feel that you, they lose their independence. And secure people are people who enjoy being intimate and who are usually warm and loving. Like I said, this book has really impacted my life. If you are questioning maybe why your relationships aren't working out or you don't understand why your partner doesn't understand certain aspects of your behavior, you don't understand why somebody is pushing you away or you don't understand why you can't communicate effectively with your partner, then I think this book is something that you should look into. It really makes you understand, or at least it did for me, of past relationships and I realize how I could have maybe communicated in a different way, but if but now that I understand where my partner was coming from, I think our communication would be completely different. I learned so much about myself, about relationships, about different types of people, about effective communication. So I think this is something that everybody would benefit from having. Um, so yeah. Enough about my fabulous discovery. I just finished dinner. I had my Big Mac salad, which is something that I love making during the week. It's such a great weeknight meal because you could actually prepare all of the ingredients in advance. It's, mm. and usually salads when they sit aren't good, like they get really soggy. I always have leftovers of this salad and I take it next day for work and it's actually really good. It's still like, it still has like the crunch and if the sauce doesn't overtake like the salad and it's just like a great leftover to have the next day. But yeah, so I just finished that. I am watching, my friend told me about this show. It's called Buying Beverly Hills. I love the Housewives franchise. I'm really into Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and of New York. And I love these like real estate shows because I feel like it's something that I don't really get to experience here. Homes in like Los Angeles and New York are so different from what we have here in Montreal. Like the the wealth in, I think like, I'm generalizing, but the wealth in the United States is so different compared to what it is in Canada. Of course, we have incredibly wealthy people here too and very luxurious homes but I don't think it's to that scale. So for me, it's like really interesting to see like kind of how like the other half lives. I'm going to clean up now and then I am going to finish with my nighttime skincare routine. <laughs>
moisturizer. I use Creme Aidien Metamorphique. I've mentioned this numerous times that I have not had Botox or fillers or any injectables and I plan to keep that going as long as I can. Um, like I've always said too, I'm not against it. I just like for me, it's just like another chore to put on my plates, you know, it's just something that you constantly have to do and I just really don't want to until the time comes where I feel like I need it. I've always been somebody who values skincare um, over makeup and for me, investing in my skincare is something that I truly believe in. So. I do pay the price for it. I love Biologique Recherche products. I've been using them for, God, like 18 years already. So I, without hesitation, I went back to my tried and true ADN Metamorphique. For me, it's like the holy grail. I was going to do a face mask tonight, but honestly, guys, it's getting late and I really don't feel like keeping it on my face for that long. So I'm going to say no tonight. In terms of my nighttime routine, I would say I'm at like a B, maybe like a C plus B. I see some people online who are incredibly efficient when it comes to these are the particular days in which I do my masking. These are the particular days in which I wash my hair. These are the particular days in which I microneedle or derma roll. Am I there? No, I'm not. But I think the things that get me to my morning routine are there. I don't put any pressure on myself in terms of, you know, being extremely diligent. What I am diligent about are the habits that I know will set me up for success for the next day. Filling my, my kettle up with water, getting my workout clothes ready. Since the beginning of the year, I've started putting my phone on do not disturb between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. For me, that's a game changer. To be honest, I used to just not answer my phone and people would get really upset with me. I've been doing that for years. I know my parents weren't happy about it. They said I never answer my phone after eight o'clock. I just feel that my nighttime, the time to decompress and I don't want to be on my phone at night. I spend the entire day talking to people. I spend the entire day taking care of people at work and the nighttime is kind of like my sanctuary. It's a time for me to decompress, to unwind. And so, yeah, so I've always kind of had that like no phone after a particular hour. It's just, I think it's become more common and there's actually a function at this point. So that to me is really important too. I will get some reading in at night as well. I do a lot of reading during the day, but at night I like to keep that at least like 10 to 20 minutes. I am having some issues with my sleep lately. Um, basically, I have no problem sleeping at all. Like I have no problems falling asleep. I just wake up in the middle of the night. So I've actually spoken to my natural path about this and because we had spoken about this years ago and she gave me supplements to take throughout the day that would help with my sleep at night. It's your gut that you have to fix and you have to supplement your body with like vitamins and minerals throughout the day to support you at night. So my natural path put me on this protocol, which I was doing a pretty good job of following, but I sort of like fell off the wagon and it's just something that I really want to put back into my routine. And that's something that is basically throughout my day. And then I take one more supplement in the evening before I go to bed. So I am going to do that tonight because sleep is so important and I think to have uninterrupted sleep is so important. It really sets you up for the next day. Like it's really hard sometimes to function when you've had like interrupted sleep. And for me, it's I don't just like wake up and you know, fall back asleep. I'm up for at least an hour. So yeah, that's something that I'm really trying to work on. I need to go back to my supplements and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put my moisturizer on and I'm gonna take my supplement. I'm gonna do a little bit of reading and then I'm gonna finish the episode of Buying Beverly Hills that I've been watching. And then I will go to bed because I have work tomorrow. Okay, so this is my supplement that I take throughout the day and in the evening. And it contains 
magnesium, calcium, potassium, and magnesium. Levi, bedtime. Go on, bedtime. Good boy, bedtime. Good boy. Good boy. Good Levi, bedtime. Good boy. Good boy.